there's not much clarity uh, about the current uh, trial of uh, Jason Rezaian, a United States citizen currently being held in Iran. Uh, there have been sporadic reports and uh, apparently a confirmation or two from um, a spokesman affiliated with the justice system there uh, indicating that um, Mr. Rezaian has been convicted. Uh, but the but we've not heard that through official channels, uh, and there obviously has no, been no formal announcement of such a conviction. Uh, the, it's not particularly surprising that the situation uh, is unclear because the entire proceedings against him have been opaque, and that has been a principal concern that we've articulated with his unjust detention. Uh, throughout this process, uh, there has been an unwillingness on the part of the Iranians uh, to be candid about what their intentions are. Uh, and, in fact, um, what is clear is that their intention is to continue to detain him unjustly. Uh, and that is something that we are quite concerned about, in the same way that we're quite concerned about the unjust detention uh, of Amir Hekmati and Saeed Abedini uh, inside of Iran. We also have concerns about um, the whereabouts of the U.S. citizen Robert Levinson, um, who was uh, last known to be inside of Iran. But we've not gotten cooperation from the Iranians. Uh, and trying to, that we would like to get, uh, to determine uh, Mr. Levinson's whereabouts. So we've got a number of concerns, uh, and the lack of clarity uh, around this particular situation is not surprising. In fact, it's consistent uh, with the kind of sham process that they've been running over there for several years now.